All right, guys, we are here. So, well, we're still here. San Juan, Puerto Rico. Neighborhood I'm walking in right now is called Condado. This is like the, the modern area. You know, your luxury stores and brands. You got the high rises, apartments, condos. Also a ton of eateries. This is the, also very touristy. Cause it's right, right behind all these buildings. Is the beach, Condado Beach. Head straight that way. So it's a, it's a pretty somewhat of a posh area. Definitely, I'm sure some people, or a lot of people who are probably watching this who've been to Puerto Rico, to this, to the capital. This is probably where you stayed, I'm assuming. For some of you guys who've never been, I'll walk around a little bit, show you. Let me get past this noise real quick. Sorry about that, they had like some construction going on or something. But hopefully the video is showing clearly because the sun's out and when it shines, this, this camera, it doesn't adjust too well when there's a lot of sun, when it's just shining directly on the camera. So hopefully, the color and saturation, all that's fine. But it's also, it's a Sunday. So I don't know if this is usually a busy day. I'm sure a lot of people are at the beach right now, relaxing. So it might not be as active on the main strip, maybe tonight. Who knows, I don't know. Yeah, people are at the, going to the beach. Well, we'll check that out. You can also rent scooters to get around. I've seen that a lot. Day and night, people are riding uh, scooters along here. Which makes sense. Because right to the to the east of this neighborhood is another popular zone. I think it's called uh, Isla Verde. I think that's what it's called. And then to the west, you have the historic center, Old San Juan. Like I said, the scooters... Pinkies right over here. Chef, uh, I don't know what kind of food this is. This. Yes, and this is seafood. We have this. What hotel is this? I don't know. Oh, the Marriott. Uh oh. Oh man. CVS. Yeah, you're definitely gonna feel you're gonna feel that uh that US culture out here, the US vibe. I'll say this, a ton of people speak English. So that's not a huge problem. Never traveled before internationally, or let me say across the water, across the pond. I think Puerto Rico would be a good starter kit. International traveler. Beginner, beginner countries. It's U.S. territory, so you don't need a passport. You're an American citizen. You just fly over here with your ID. You speak a lot of English. So far, I'll say this is tourist friendly, very tourist friendly, foreigner friendly. Cool vibes. Yeah, the beach is down that way. If you go down that strip, we're gonna keep going straight see got traffic let's let's go ahead and cross but yeah it'll be a not a bad country for a first time but just keep in mind even though you're crossing the water usually well usually when you cross the water you kind of think of, oh man, it should be cheaper or the, the prices should be better. This is pretty much similar to, to U.S. prices with a, with a military discount, good old 10% discount.
also this is what month is this june i think this is the off season shoulder season so some of you guys may be looking to visit during a time where not as many people prices aren't as high if that's the case you know it might not be a bad spot Madaya got the liquor store Yeah. I see a lot of uh, LGBT flags. So I'm guessing this is the zone for that. Maybe, maybe not. I think we might be coming to the end. Empanadas, lovely things. Eatery here. Puerto Rican cuisine. Oh, we going that way? I'll go this way. Might have to cross this street. We'll get in right before the traffic. Let's do this. Oh, thank you. There we go. Got some stuff going on over here. Eateries. This is supposed to be the, the rum capital of the world. I don't know, it's all the rum drinkers, the rum connoisseurs, is that true? I don't know. I wasn't the, uh, well no, that wasn't the wine capital. That was the wine capital of Mendoza. I mean, wine capital of Argentina, a city named Mendoza. So if you're in Argentina, you enjoy wine, check it out, check out Mendoza. If you're in Mexico, you love tequila, Check out the town actually named Tequila. I'm guessing if you're in the Caribbean and you love rum, check out uh, Puerto Rico. San Juan to be exact. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty chill. So there's two ways you can do this. Let me go ahead and talk about it now. I don't stay in these areas. I'm not in these areas. I'm out, I'm on the outskirts, balling on the budget. So it takes me maybe in an Uber 15 minutes. And the thing is, those Uber rides after a while add up. Now I'm still saving money. But just understand that if, you, if you're trying to save money and you're staying maybe on the outskirts, understand that, you know, do the math, but those Uber rides will add up, especially at night. The a normal Uber ride to, to this area for me, from where I stay is like maybe seven bucks, eight bucks. I took an Uber here, 
back home at night one time, oh, $24, $25, oh, oh. Man, that was crazy. Look like they got something going on. Maybe an event or something. But just be mindful of that. Let me uh, go in front of this person. <sighs> During the time uh, when I was looking up apartments, it was like minimum for what I was looking for. It's like plus tax, man, like 1600 just for a bed, a bed and four walls, 1600 I was like, man. So I opted for a different, different accommodation. It's just fine, just a little bit on the outskirts. So, and I'm okay with the Uber rides. And plus I walk a lot, so doesn't bother me. I think, uh, think you guys get the gist of the neighborhood. Starting to, well not slow down, but I think uh, you guys seeing it, buildings. You guys see what it is right there. Pretty chill, at least on a Sunday in June. I don't know how it normally is during the peak season. Oh, don't wanna get Yeah. I think, uh, let's see, let me get in front of this car right here. Oh, go this way. Like I was saying, you guys, uh, you guys get the picture of this neighborhood. Probably gonna go ahead and end it right here. Appreciate you guys watching. I'm gonna, uh, what I'm probably gonna do is head down to the end right here and then go on the beach. Check out the beach scene. And so, you're interested in seeing that go ahead and uh, stay tuned for the for the next video with all that being said i'm gonna go ahead and end it right here hope you guys found some value in the video hope that has helped you somehow and i'll catch you guys the next one deuces